The Rhine is shrinking, shrinking so much it now has a beach. Europe's rivers are disappearing. The wall, there are different colors and that's the normal water level. Now it's decreased very much. The Earth's climate is changing and is expected to continue to change throughout the next century and beyond. Climate change consequences are often experienced through water, more severe and frequent droughts, more extreme floods, more unpredictable seasonal rainfalls, and glacier melting. Strange heat waves are sweeping the Earth, and there's more. Something alarming is happening to Europe's waterways right now. The waters are drying up in mysterious ways, and great rivers are becoming low enough to walk over. What is driving these changes in Europe's rivers? Is global warming already having an impact on the world? Stay tuned to learn more. Climate change is a long-term shift in the average weather patterns that characterize Earth's local, regional, and global climates. The human-caused climate disaster is fueling severe weather worldwide, affecting rivers and the people who depend on them. Most people on Earth rely on rivers in some form, whether for drinking water, irrigation, electricity, or transportation. Rivers across the United States, Europe, Asia, and the Middle East are drying up due to a severe lack of rain and unrelenting heat waves. Many are becoming shorter and more comprehensive. Patches of riverbed protruding above the water are typical. Some rivers have become almost impassable due to desiccation. Today, not only is the weather growing more unpleasant due to the searing heat, but there is also other determinal consequences on our environment that are evident to us. The situation with global warming may be different on other continents, but the European continent has given us reason to be worried about the waters on that continent. The continent is enormous and is home to several significant rivers, including the Danube River, the Dnieper River, Don River, Elba River, Loire River, Oder River, Po River, and Rhine rivers. These great rivers have thrived throughout their history as a source of energy and for various other industrial reasons. However, in these modern times, Europe is facing a tremendous amount of uncertainty, the likes of which have never been witnessed in previous decades. Because of climate change, there has been an unexpected surge in the number of heat waves that has broken previous records. And as a result, the rivers have dried up and the available water supply is diminishing. Spain's reservoirs are at their lowest levels. As a result, drought has affected the Sal Reservoir in Spain. The town of St. Roma de Sal was submerged in the 1960s to build this reservoir in the Catalonia area. However, with the heat wave in the region, something terrible is occurring in this water reserve. Old artifacts are reappearing. An old church from the Buried Valley has resurfaced on the surface of the now very low reserve. Nothing has been seen of this chapel in almost 50 years, but it's suddenly standing tall owing to the drought. Tourists have flocked to the region in response to the frightening sight. Along this historic church, old artifacts are reappearing. Parts of a local cemetery and a school also reappeared from the sea. Angel's Bond, the last person surviving the town before it sunk, had a few words to say about the catastrophe. He had lived there with his family before it dropped, and he had seen his old home re-emerged at one point. This explains how severe the drought has gotten, although it may be exciting to watch historic church structures re-emerge. Its repercussions on Spain include a severe decline in water supplies, which might be disastrous in the long term. Again, additional water reserves exist in Spain, which is now suffering from a drought. With nearly 652 kilometers, Italy's Po River is considered the country's longest river. This river starts in the high parts of the Caudian Alps and runs from west to east through northern Italy. It flows gracefully into the Adriatic Sea. This massive river runs through numerous important Italian towns, including Cremona, Milan, Piacenza, and Turin. With Milan and Turin industrial centers in the nation, one can see how vital this river has been. As a result, Po's water is utilized for industrial reasons and remains a tourist attraction. However, Europe's heat waves and harsh drought are wreaking havoc on this river. Empty boats are increasingly being found on the dry riverbanks. When interviewed, a local in his 20s admits that he had never seen something like this happen in this neighborhood and that the elderly also were reporting the same. This is catastrophic for Italy since big rice crops depends on this river for irrigation. With the river suddenly drying up, communities known as the breadbasket of Italy will suffer. The Batings Reservoir in western Yorkshire is an example of another reservoir that is drying up due to Europe's heat waves. The reservoir was formed when a little community known as the Hamlet of Batings drowned in the 1950s. 
So far, the water has retreated sufficiently to show a historic bridge that had been underwater for decades in the region. The bridge was supposed to be centuries ancient, having stood since the Vikings' conquest of Great Britain. The last thing anybody saw of it in the Middle Ages was sinking into the Baiting Reservoir. However, due to the rising severity of the drought, the reservoir is currently believed to be 50% lower than its initial level. As a result, the previously submerged bridge has resurfaced. This might have an overall positive impact on the Yorkshire area. Yorkshire rivers are running low, and reservoirs are 20% lower than predicted for this time of year, according to Yorkshire water head Neil Davis. Surprisingly, the United Kingdom, which is generally associated with rain, has been featured in this heated narrative. The River Thames, once known as Temesis or Temesa, and sometimes referred to as the River Isis near Oxford, England, is the principal river in southern England. Its headwaters are located in the Cotswold Hills, and its basin has a total area of around 5,500 square miles, or 14,250 square kilometers. For the first time since 1976, the River Thames in England is swiftly rising. Unfortunately, the Thames is also drying up owing to Europe's record-breaking heat. Moving south to France, this situation is identical since the Great River Loire is also impacted. The Loire is France's most enormous river. It's about 1,600 kilometers long, rising from the foothills of the Massif Central in the Savance mountain range in the French department of Ardèche. The river travels across northern and western France, draining into the Biscay Bay. The river is home to various fish and 164 bird species. However, with massive heat waves sweeping throughout France, things might be looking up for this famous river. The River Loire has decreased so much that people may stroll over it on foot. Another unfortunate development is that the Rhine River is gradually losing its flow. The river has historically played an essential role in the economies of Switzerland, Austria, and Germany. It has a length of around 1,230 kilometers, making it the longest impacted river on our list. Its source is in the canton of Grison in Switzerland, located in the southeastern portion of the Swiss Alps. After flowing through the expansive Rhine Valley in the direction of the north, the Rhine ultimately forms the international border between Switzerland and Liechtenstein, between Switzerland and Austria. The river originates in Austria and runs into Lake Constance before emerging from the lake as the Upper Rhine, forming Switzerland's boundary with Germany in the country's northeastern corner. The river then drops over a height of 22 meters, which is known as the Rhine Falls. When the river reaches Switzerland, it begins to travel northward and is referred to as the Upper Rhine. This section of the Rhine marks the border between Germany and France, and it finally flows into the Netherlands, separating into three branches before emptying into the North Sea. The Rhine is, without a doubt, a significant river important to many countries. However, the Rhine River is rapidly drying up, and prosperous economies are beginning to feel the effects as the water level continues to fall. Germany is one of the areas that are most severely impacted. In light of the diminishing water levels in the Rhine, the German economy requires assistance. The Rhine is a vital commercial artery that allows the transfer of enormous cargo from the nation. And since the water level is dropping so rapidly, ships are being forced to cut the shipment they can carry by almost 30%. As a direct consequence, Germany continues its search for alternate means to ensure the efficient delivery of its commodities, particularly heavyweight industrial materials. Although using trucks is an alternative, traveling by rail in Germany is not recommended because train stations are often at or near capacity. The analysis findings indicate that there are better choices than selecting this path. This is because it takes about 110 vehicles to convey the same quantity of products that a single ship would have been able to deliver. Again, after examining the number of vehicles required to ensure the delivery of products went well, it became apparent that more trucks and drivers needed to be. Because of this, the hunt for more effective alternatives continues, but no other choice now offers the convenience of employing ships. However, as rivers throughout Europe dry up, even the Rhine cannot support ship traffic. Because of the Rhine drying up, the Cobb choke point, typically a low location of the river, has to be drier, making it more difficult for ships to navigate through this section of the river. Consequently, several shipping firms have reduced the number of ships they use, leading to a situation in which five boats now transport the same amount of commodities formerly transported by a single vessel. Again, some shipping corporations are preparing to build specialized ships as a potential cure and solution. The issue of decreasing waterways may have an impact on the whole planet's economy. If the problem is not handled, the disastrous effect of the heat waves that have been sweeping over the countries of Europe and drying up the rivers is becoming more forcefully felt. Even though we're praying and hoping the waters will return, the weather prediction indicates that it will likely continue to be hot. 
Scientists expect the global temperature rise caused by artificial greenhouse gases will continue. Severe weather damage will also rise and become more powerful. We already see many repercussions that scientists expected, like the disappearance of sea ice, melting glaciers and ice sheets, increasing sea levels, and more violent heat waves. Well, that's all for today. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. We'll be back with another exciting video very soon. And until then, take care.